मैं सर कटले एमरोस पिछले साल गया था एंटीगा में इनसे मुलाकात नहीं हो पाई थी और मैंने इनसे रिक्वेस्ट की थी तो तैयार हो गए सर एमरोस किसी परिचय का मोहताज नहीं है 405 विकेट टेस्ट क्रिकेट में और इनका सेलिब्रेशन हर इंडियंस को याद है हम लोग बचपन में थे देखते थे सो बेसिकली वॉट आई गिव द इंट्रोडक्शन दैट हाउ वी ऑल इंडियन रिमेंबर्स योर सेलिब्रेशन लाइक दिस कैन यू टॉक अबाउट दैट दैट द फर्स्ट थिंग वी रिमेंबर वेन यू यूज टू टेक द विकेट It's just a spur of the moment thing. Mm. It's not something that I rehearse mm. or practice. It's just a reaction from taking a wicket. Mm. I mean, I guess lots of people love it, but it just happened at the moment. Sir Ambrose, you have retired for a long time now. Uh, there was a point of time where everyone knew knew you as Kurtley doesn't talk to anyone, man, and now Kurtley talks. That's not quite true. <laughs> really? You know, I've heard that for many, many, many years. Mm. But I just left it alone. It's not quite true. Okay. The thing is, when I was playing, I was never that keen on talking to reporters. Okay. Because I find, from experience, the reporters tend to put the story their own way, and sometimes don't print exactly what you tell them. Okay. So I just try to stay away from interviews if I can, hmm. you know. And then that's how that saying, you know, came about. Clear the talks, no man. It's not quite true. I've never said that. Kotle Ambrose, Courtney Walsh. Whenever we talk about the moment we talk about West Indies cricket, it's the pace quarter holding Roberts, Marshall, and then it's Walsh and Ambrose. And unfortunately, that's the last legacy. That that's a forever the enduring memory. After that, how do you look at that? Yeah, it's kind of sad to see that the fast bowling stock has diminished a little bit. There's still a few fast bowlers around, obviously, but You know what I think is that people around the cricketing globe were kind of spoiled with us as West Indians bringing through a lot of fast bowlers and you know some great ones, and they tend to compare the present-day fast bowlers with our generation and even before, which is a bit unfair. But you know we are known for producing fast bowlers, and um, there's still a few around, and I'm sure that we will see a resurgence in the not too distant future. We have seen some fierce battle with you, whether it's Steve Wark, Sachin Tendulkar, which is which. If when you we have you have retired, and when we look back, okay, these are the three battles I remember the most. These are the three batsmen. No, I have had the privilege of playing against a lot of great players in my time, mm -hmm. in terms of batsmen. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've always enjoyed a challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, I thrive on challenges, and the top of the opponents. Mm -hmm. The top of the challenge, I tends to bring the best out of me, and you know more often than not, I'll come out on top. But there are times too when I, I come second. You know, I've had my fair share of licks as well, but you know I, I always enjoy a challenge. A lot of people have said this about it. A lot of players on field, you are so fierce, like everybody will get intimidated. And off the field, you are gentle giant, very humble. How is this paradox? How did you manage to do that? There are two sides to everyone, right? Mm. And I'm no different. When I'm competing, I'm always ultra aggressive. I always want to win. You know, nothing personal. So, nothing to smile about when I'm competing. Okay. You know, and off the field, I'm different. I don't take my work home. Once I leave the cricket field, I'm normally curly ambos. You know, I'm not the cricketer. So there's two sides: the, the Kurt Yambos, the cricketer, and Kurt Yambos, you know, a more laid-back, relaxed kind of guy. So that's that, 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 that. But people tend to judge me from what I do on the field, which is not really who I am. Competing is different than just relaxing. You have you have been watching these Indian cricketers quite closely. Obviously, the, this Indian team has some young, fine young talent like Gil, Gil and Yashasvi Jaiswal, and obviously some of the legends of the game like Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli. Indians, a lot of people do not want if Kurtley Amros gets an opportunity to bowl against this Indian team. How would you you know look at it? if one batsman or two batsmen you would like to bowl and you think that I will get best better out of them? <laughs> Well, a lot of people keep asking me that question, yeah. and I just simply said to them, "Listen, yeah. I'll be 60 years of age in a couple of months, right?" I think you still you can bowl some good, lovely spells. I Fit enough. I don't even want to think about it. Okay. You know, I've had my time in, a, in international cricket, played against a lot of great players, 
you know and uh, like I said I mean I've done my time mm. and I wouldn't even try to think about what I would have done against present day cricketers because times have changed the cricket has changed and I just don't want to really get into that kind of conversation I just like I said I've done my time and that's it for me what are your impression of the early uh, the talent of Yashashri Jaiswal and Shubman Gill well, Shubman Gill at the moment struggling in his, in his two test matches. He hasn't really scored any runs, mm. but we all know he's a wonderful player. Um, Siraj, you know, because I'm very much for the fast bowlers. Yeah. Right? right. And I think he's a fantastic bowler, mm. understands fast bowling, does something with the ball, which is key. Mm. And he, he, he's deceptive. Doesn't look as quick, but he can be quick. You know, and the good thing about it, I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm quite impressed with the way he has gone about this two test match series and he's leading from the front in the absence of Shami and of course Boomer, mm. who I think is another fantastic bowler very different never seen a bowler like him before in terms of Boomer. very very different but highly effective and I was looking forward to seeing him here in the Caribbean again but unfortunately he's not so you spoke about you have such a great admiration for Boomer, and I, I'm sure when Boomer hears this interview he will be mighty pleased because anyone getting a praise it could be as high as getting from you so when you're talking about Bumrah his difference is the difference is also is his problem because of action stress factor how do you from that point of view the action and back stress and all that well I, I don't know for sure hmm. right because fast bowling is about rhythm hmm. you know and you need to build up a little rhythm hmm. you know but he has a very short run up hmm. as a matter of fact he walks a bit and then on a couple of strides before he delivers. Mm. So maybe, mm. just maybe because of that, he's put a lot of strain, extra strain on his body. Mm. Hence, maybe, you know, the injuries. Mm. But even if you have a nice, long, smooth run up, you know, fast bowling is hard work. You still can get injured. Mm. So I'm just saying, maybe because of his short run up, mm. he puts so much force in his body. Mm. So that could be a reason. I'm not, I don't know for sure. Right. But, um, He's been highly effective, it worked for him, mm. you know, it's all about being comfortable. Mm. But um, injuries is something you can't prevent. So I'm just hoping he can get fit soon enough and we'll see him back in action for India. Last two questions, couple of. One, since you also mentioned Shami, a lot of people believe Shami is the craftiest. How do you describe Shami? Every bowler is different. Mm. From my little experience, there are never two bowlers that are exactly alike. Bowlers may have similarities, but never exactly alike, you know, and um, that's, when, that's why when I coach, I don't coach a bowler to be like me or any other bowler. You have to look at what you're working with and fine tune them and just get them to be the best that they can be because no two bowlers are alike, exactly alike. So we are different, but the most important thing is your efficiency, how effective you are and the results you can get for your team so that's what is it we're all different so sometimes you know the cricket experts like to say things like you got to be side on or you got to be <laughs> brace front leg and all that i don't even discuss those kind of situations because all balls are different and for me the end result is being efficient and effective doesn't matter how you look it's the end result that counts my final question before I let you go, sir. The whole India wants to know, because obviously you spoke about the ballers, they want to know, you saw Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma, how different these two batsmen are. What is your assessment? Because someone like you assessing these two great batsmen, modern, modern times? Very different. Mm. Rohit Sharma, the skipper, wonderful player, that's just all around the wicket, can be aggressive when he wants to. Mm. Virat Kohli is a little bit different very pleasant to watch easy on the eyes you know um can score quickly without being overly aggressive he's not a, like a six hitter per se not that he can't do it he can but he can score just as quickly as guys who are you, you would call six hitters but wonderful player as well very i'll be great to watch really um i got a lot of respect for him I admire him as well over the years. I mean, and I was kind of happy to see him score under 100 overseas. It's been a, a little bit of a drought for him, you know, for a few years, having scored a century overseas. Mm. Unfortunately, it's against the West Indies. Mm. But I was quite happy for him, and that should do his confidence the world of good. 
I still get a lot to offer in, in India cricket. This is a personal question for you since because you are being interviewed and you will be on Indian media. A lot of people will, will be wondering, Sir Kirtley Ambrose, such a great fast bowler, so much knowledge and wisdom. Why he is not sharing this knowledge with the IPL? Has you ever been opposed by IPL teams coaching offer? Will you be open to that or commentary? Because you are just restricted to Caribbean field. Would you like to go to India frequently? People would like to see, interact and there is other side to it. Ambrose sings. So, could you just tell about that? Uh, uh, because a lot of uh, corporate guy, IPL franchisee must be listening to you. What What is this? How they approach you? I can Then I can share your number. <laughs> No, I've, I've never been approached. Yeah, never been no, approached. To, to, so, to, uh, aren't you shocked? I wouldn't say shocked because I mean I reckon every franchise probably already have their staff, mm. you know. But I've never been approached to do IPL, whether coaching or are you commentary open to it? or are you commentating. Open to it? Well, cricket is what I know. Yeah. I believe I know a thing or two about cricket. Mm. So for me, coaching and commentating is what I do. So once the opportunity presents itself, you know, and I have the time, I'm always ready to do that because I enjoy coaching, I enjoy committee. Thank you so much, Mr. Carl Ambrose. My privilege and honor to have a, such a short time. I would have loved to keep talking, talking, talking. But since you have been so gracious, given me so much time, hope to do the again longer part sometimes later. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your My time. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, ye the Sir Kurtle Ambrose, you know, ne is barish ke beech mein itna waqt hume diya ki ham shukr guzar hain. Aur umid karte hain ki aapko ye interview pasand aayega. Halanki English mein hai. Lekin ab itna kya comfort of Spain ne barish ne yadgar bana diya. Thank you very much.